So what's kind of useful is to know how to find out someone else's hot button. Well, we'll say I'm calling them human needs or hot buttons. Okay. So if we go back to our model, here's what I want to do. I always thought, because I always sort of knew that that it was something like this, and then I worked, you know, sort of thought, okay, it's that, and then it's that. So what we're interested in doing, if we're, if we're dealing with someone else, this is to help them because they often get stuck or to sell them something, is we want to find out of all the emotions that people could be feeling, you know, we can go through and do our futures, advantages, benefits, but it's not all the emotions aren't all equal. Some are way more equal than others. So if I'm talking to Earl, that variety, freedom and growth, they're massively important. The rest of them, yeah, yeah, there might be benefits, it's kind of interesting, but no, nothing, nothing near as powerful and addictive to Earl as something where he can get growth and uncertainty, variety, freedom. So if I can find out those two things, that's a lot. That's a lot of information for me to know which, which are his big drivers. And then, so I'm thinking, okay, if I can ask some questions, go down, grab that one, maybe grab both of them. Now I know what they are, and I've probably got rapport with them by this stage, because it tends to happen you get rapport when you're doing these questions. I'll then jump across here. Is there any way I can get him to visualize him having that, having these two things, and working with me? Well, how good would he feel if he could see me getting in those two things? Wouldn't that be good? Right? So that's what we're trying to do. Step one, go down there and find those. Step two, go over there and get him to picture it. Now, fair warning. I'm going to go through some questions that I use and developed. And when you look at them, you may say, oh, I could, uh, it's not how I'd do it or I wouldn't use those questions. Well, I do it a lot better than you do. So I would suggest just copy them. <laughs> Even though you feel a little bit, oh, they might make you feel uncomfortable. Don't do them with clients to start with. Some of them are sort of embedded in the other questions we had earlier. Um, but you'll see, now, you, when I'm doing it and asking someone and going through the questions, you might say, oh, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable asking that question. The truth of the matter is that when you're being asked the question, you can't even remember what questions you're being asked. Okay, so it's different for you to be sitting there watching me ask someone some questions or you ask your buddy some questions as it is to be sitting in the hot seat and being asked the questions because what tends to happen when you're sitting here is because you're answering the questions, you can't even remember what the questions are at the end. Okay, so as, as we're going through it, watch, watch the people's eyes sort of go up and start to glaze. It's because they're, they're looking at things up here. And they don't even know what you're saying. They can't even remember you're there. So don't worry about the questions, right? Okay, so what do you want? Why do you want it? Of those reasons you just give me, which is most important? Because sometimes they'll give you a few. Okay, and some of them are smoke screens, and some of them are real. We want to dig down on the most important one. Then you're going to say, what will that mean for you if you get that, or if you do that? And then how will that make you feel? Now by then, probably, it's highly likely that by this stage, if not before, we're already seeing that they're answering one of these, one or two of these very early. Okay, so this is what we're on the lookout for these questions. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find which of these is it, okay? You're right, Clint? Yep. All right, so everyone think of something. Everyone think of something they kind of want maybe three out of 10, but they'd like, it'd be okay if they wanted it 10 out of 10. Maybe it's more exercise, maybe it's eat healthy, maybe it's join a gym, maybe it's buy a, buy a new car, if you can afford it. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know. And I'm just gonna ask all of you this, these questions. We'll just see what happens actually. Okay, so has everyone got something where you may be, you know, I'm about three out of 10, it's okay, and if I went to 10, it'd be okay, I'm not gonna object just to see what happens, you right? Okay, so I'm just gonna ask you, why do you want that thing? What is, it, what is it you want, sorry? What is it you want? So just answer, okay, I wanna get fit or something. Why do you want it? Why do you wanna get? 
if there's a few different reasons, of those, which is most important to you? Got it? What will it mean for you if you get that? Got that? And how will that ultimately make you feel if you get that, if you, you know, if you get that thing up here? How will that make you feel? Okay, so who had, who had a nice, interesting, simple one that I, we can get up on the chair and uh, just, just go through the questions? Someone got something I can... Go on, John. Your one's not certainty, is it, your driver? No, no, definitely not. You wouldn't be up in the chair if it was. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be. Okay, what is it you want? Uh, I want to lose weight and get in shape. Lose weight, get in shape. Why is that important to you? I want to uh, live long for my family, yep. be there for them. I want to be more desirable to my wife. Yep. I Stop. Is there a few clues as to what it might be already? I'm not, yeah, well, it might, yeah. Could be. Could be. Let's see. Okay. Uh, more desirable to your wife. Uh, live longer for your family. Any other reasons? Mm, better health. Stop snoring. Right. Um. Okay. Good. Good loop. Of those, which is most important? Uh, to live long for my family. Live longer for his family. Okay. Be a, be a healthy dad. Okay. And what will it mean for you if you achieve that? It would mean a much better life for me. Okay. And how would that make you feel? I'd feel awesome. Awesome. Great. And what will it cost you if you don't? Uh, my life could be shortened. Um, my relationship with my wife might not be as optimal as I well, want it, it to be. It won't be if you did, will it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> won't be optimal. <laughs> yep. Anything else? Um, yeah, my, my relationship with my children could suffer because I'm not able to do the things I want to do with them. Right. They want so you a, really love strong, your wife, healthy you really dad. love your kids, don't Absolutely. You? Right. Okay. Case closed. Right. If I, you know, we don't have to, you know. So is, is love and connection very high for you? It was... A, so almost alone on the top. Bing, 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 bing. Now I know that, and we know that. Excellent. Okay, so just out of interest, where were you when you started? Out of 10 for health and... Oh, I've been like, it's like a three. It's something I've always wanted to do, but never could push the desire to do anything significant or, or anything that lasts. Because he didn't make the connection between the health and fitness and the things that are really important to him. But by asking these questions, he's now for the first time, maybe for the first time, he's made a connection between health and fitness equals better connection with his family and his wife. That might change the motivation level. We've made a new connection here. True? True. Has it changed where you were? You were at three, where would you go now? Uh, getting close to 10, eight, nine. Eight, nine, just, is that all? 